Today's video, Mandalorian Black Series Collection. Welcome Mandalorian and Star Wars fans. Today we are going to have a look, quick look over the current Black Series line for the Mandalorian, which is a few out now. Uh, there's three I don't have, which are these three here. The Remnant Stormtrooper, it never came to my country, which is number nine. The build-up pack, which I do have on its way, thanks to this amazing community. So that'll fill in my gap here, and also the Speeder Bike and Child. I've not managed to find that here yet either. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go through each figure just quickly, and just have a look and let everybody know who there is and how many there is. And we all know about Cara June, so if you've got one, apparently the prices are skyrocketing rocketing now. So let's jump straight in and we will just go through each figure and have a quick look and talk about each one quick. Let's go. So first up we have the off-wheel Jawa and he was in the red and black number boxes. And just quickly, this is the Muriel so far that I've got. Obviously missing the build-up pack and the gap there of the current Black Series line um, as they transition to the new boxes. So, yeah, off or jar, and it was quite a nice piece they did too with the leather go uh, soft goods as well. Comes with its two weapons, and this is attached to the back as well. So nice weathering on the strips in that too, and underneath. So, yeah. Everyone that you'll see um, is reviewed on my channel, so if you'd like in-depth looks each and every one of them, be sure to check out the reviews. I'll leave a link to the playlist just above as well. So next in line, I will move him out the way and bring it in. Quill, yes. Good figure too. A long-awaited good figure. They did a good job with him. Would have been cool if that was soft, but it's not. I don't think there's any soft good on him at all. You know, that's fine, but the detailing on what he has, his backpack as well is nicely done. His helmet is removable as well, with his big bald head. So that is Quill, and he is in one of the new box lines. Yeah, and that is a fantastic figure. It was long awaited. We we're all waiting for that one. Cool. Next in line is. One of all of our favourites, the Heavy Infantry Mandalorian. Certainly a favourite of mine. He was, whoops, my favourite figure. Might have been 2019 when he came out. Yeah, such a fantastic figure. I need to get a turny thing. Yeah. yeah. What a deluxe he was. I think he was D2? Maybe 3? He was D2. Yeah, D2. D1 was Grievous, D2 was Heavy Infantry, D3 was Pro Droid, D4 was the Luke and Yoda. But yeah, fantastic figure. Excellent, excellent job with this one. And yeah, I'd like to get the Credit Collection one just to keep the pack and hang on the wall. I haven't got any of them yet, but yeah, definitely, definitely a fantastic figure. Next, I'm just randomly grabbing them off my shelf as we go. The talk right now. Cara June, well, the character is Cara June. As we've heard, she's been fired, so a lot of online prices for this figure have actually been skyrocketing, I've been hearing this morning, so I'm glad I have a Cara June when I did, and this was in the number boxes as well, red and black. But yeah, they did an awesome job with her. I'd like to get the credit as well for her, it's quite a nice looking one, I'm going to move that. Yeah, even with a tattoo on her face there. Cara June, fantastic figure. Such a good character too. It's quite a shame. Next, and this one was gifted to me. This is an exclusive, it was. And this is IG-11. <laughs> it's not 88. Yeah, this guy looks good, man. This is pretty decent articulation for a droid. Weathering's really good as well. He's got his two weapons, and this was an exclusive in the numbered boxes a while ago, during the first season that would have been. But yeah, IG-11, the nurse droid. Brilliant figure, absolutely brilliant. Must have. 
Next, I have the most recent one I got anyway, and that is Grief Kaga from season one. This one, so he's got the um, a different outfit as well. So, hopefully, we get a season two one with that nice red one. Whoops, just made it too bright. But yeah, I really love the detail and they've done on him with his clothing, all these lines on his clothes. It's, yeah, really adds so much more to the figure when they get real deep in depth. A good addition they did as well was the double uh, trigger fingers. Really made a difference considering he's got two blasters as well. All in all, they did a good job with him. Little bit shiny on the face, they could nail it back just a little bit, but all in all, really good. Grief Kaga, very good, very good. Okie dokie, let's bring in this is the armor, and I'm so happy to have this one. I was lucky to be one of the first, I believe, found randomly found it in a bookshop. So, there's a bookshop for these ones, yeah. What calls here? That's a good figure, the armourer. That's um, just plastic, is removable as well. It's not soft, but it's semi-soft. But the weathering up around here, you have to watch the review for this figure because this one was just awesome. Was such well done. There was the deluxe as well, which I certainly don't have, which had a few extra pieces as well. But the armourer is such a good figure. Even the dent on her helmet. Very well done there. I'll use this pointy stick. You can see the dent in here and all the weathering on the helmet. Yeah, such a good job. Such a good job. Okie dokie. Right, two for one. And this is a bit of an old school. This is how it stands on the shelf. The original Mandalorian with the child. And this one, when it came out, was so popular. I was lucky to be, because then we had Force Friday. That was, we were lucky because of where we are in the world. We get things like that, and we are literally are the first in the world. So I was able to stream that live, and I was, oh, that was a great moment for me. Had the 501st there as well, and that was at Toy World. And yeah, I was able to pick him up. And then the next day, I get a little bit of a in sight and off I go to pick up the carbonized and I came home opened them up reviewed them both together and uploaded it without knowing I just did the first comparison in the world so this one here was a breakthrough figure for me and really really opened some eyes up to my channel as well so yeah that was a great moment so and on that if you're enjoying this video please hit the like does help the channel out a lot really makes a difference so yeah and that's just the child as well i do have another one of him somewhere he's put away um that was just a little tiny one so yeah this was a good one too and then if we just do it at the same time he's kneeling at the moment because he was in a pose and you've got the biscar mandalorian and then you've got the build-up pack one which i think he's just a little bit dirtier and he's obviously got his rifle as well. So they're the two Mandalorians, not including the build-up pack Mandalorian. Very cool. Yeah, he's a good figure. Really like the car. Um, actually, I really like both of them. I love the, the detail and the colour on him and the dirt on the helmet. He's very clean, but it still looks very, very good. And he's a little bit, he's not as loose as him. His legs are a little bit loose with the um, new one here, obviously being in the new moulds and that too. It's a little bit different, and it's, it is a bit more sturdier too. So yeah, great figures either way. And this one here, if you've got in a white box now, is through the roof. The first edition. Is an addition, Imperial Death Troopers. Got a couple of those. So yeah, we got them now. So you can add them into your, into your Mandalorians. Next, and I never reviewed this one, unfortunately, but a lot of the other ones will cover him anyway, but this is the Imperial Stormtrooper, the new moulded Stormtrooper, and this is a great figure. And I mean that, I think this was number one of my favourite figures last year, 
Um, it was number one with the Incinerator Trooper, which I'll bring in next, um, just because the, the articulation on them are phenomenal. You can stand them so well now. They look really good. They don't look, you know, too big, over-proportioned. You've got the moulded head underneath as well, the clone head. If you can get the head off, helm off. Yeah, such a good figure. He just doesn't have the um, pouch for his gun, but they don't in there. But yeah, the new moulded Stormtrooper is a must-have for any fan out there. So, as I said, um, incinerated Trooper, and he comes with that, which is very cool. It does, because he's on my shelf displayed, I don't leave it on there. Whoops, sorry. Purely because it does start to droop down. It just sort of looks a bit sad after a while, so... I'll put it on when I need to, otherwise it just sort of slides on here like so, I'll show you, and pops on the end, but I, yeah, as I said, I did do a big review, but yeah, <laughs> then you got to try and stand them without them falling over, you see, because of the weight, but yeah, so awesome, that should be my thumbnail right there. Yeah, incinerator trip, everything about the skull is it's just so good. Even the backpack, the um, tanks, and it all comes off too, I'm pretty sure I remember. Pop that off. And the red on him, just, yeah, awesome. Very, very happy to have this one. Really am. Incinerator Trooper, he's on the new box line as well. Now coming in, I believe this is the last one actually. Moth. Gideon, oh yeah, this figure here was long awaited and they nailed it, they knocked it out of the ballpark and they, yeah, the facial sculpt, the saber, everything of this figure is just really well done, they didn't hold back on it, very very happy, his, his face is just right with the shine too and he doesn't look like he's sweating. Yeah, Moff Gideon, awesome figure. That's hard, well, semi-soft plastic and does remove as well with a wee peg on the back. But he looks better with it if you ask me, so that's how he'll stand on my shelf. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Unless you want to bring, but that's old school Boba Fett, so he's irrelevant. Awesome. So, and, and sorry for the wait on the videos too, guys. I'd had a bit of, um back troubles and stuff so I've been resting and not been doing too much so I am back I have more content coming for you very soon some very exciting stuff to happen I hope you enjoyed the Mandalorian collection um, check out the new reviews that will be coming um, new pickups check out my Instagram for pickups and photos as well and until the next time my friends give in to the dark side and may the force be with you all Thank <laughs> you.